Hi, my name is Rob and this presentation is on an extraction method called DNA IQ. First, an overview. The DNA IQ extraction uses a paramagnetic resin to isolate DNA. The first step, like most forensic DNA extractions, is solubilization of the dried stain. Many times, this step also lyses the cells. The second step uses the paramagnetic resin to bind the DNA while leaving the other components from the biological stain in the aqueous solution. The DNA IQ system uses silica-coated magnetic beads. The quantity of beads used in the procedure defines the binding capacity, which is approximately 100 nanograms of DNA. The DNA IQ kit contains a proprietary resin and specialized buffers, including lysis, wash, and elution. It is important to note that the DNA isolated using the DNA IQ protocol is single-stranded. Also, the elution buffer releases the DNA from the resin. If the DNA sample has not been heated sufficiently, the efficiency of elution will be lower than expected. Another important point to bear in mind during the process is that the resin settles out of solution readily. It is important to mix the resin often when isolating DNA from numerous samples. By vortexing the sample vigorously, you keep the resin in solution during binding and break up aggregates that may form between each wash step. The presence of aggregates will also lower DNA yield. Also, it is important to not let the resin dry completely after washing. If this occurs, the DNA will bind irreversibly to the resin. The first step is called the incubation step. In this step, the sample is placed into an extraction tube with lysis buffer. The tube is mixed and centrifuged. The tube is then incubated at 70 degrees Celsius for at least 30 minutes. The next step is the clarification step. In this step, any solid material, which is the substrate, is transferred into a spin basket and allowed to centrifuge. Then, the basket and substrate can be discarded. The next step in the process is called purification. This is the resin binding step. Suspend the DNA IQ resin stock and add resin to each sample. Once again, remember that the resin settles quickly, so resuspend it periodically to ensure that a uniform amount is added to each sample. Then, mix each sample to suspend the resin and incubate at room temperature for 5 minutes. The next step, which is the washing step, has two parts. In the first part, a lysis buffer is used. First, place the tube in the magnetic stand. Once the resin has collected on the side of the tube, carefully remove the liquid. Then, add prepared lysis buffer, remove the tube from the stand and mix briefly. Place the tube in the magnetic stand and carefully remove the liquid. The next part of the washing step uses the wash buffer. Add prepared wash buffer, remove the tube from the stand and mix briefly. Then, place the tube in the magnetic stand and carefully remove the liquid. Repeat this process twice. Allow the samples to air dry in the magnetic stand for 5 minutes. Ensure that all traces of liquid have been removed from the tube prior to air drying the resin. The final step in the process is called elution. Add elution buffer to each tube. Remove the tube from the stand, mix briefly, and incubate at 65 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes. Remove the tube from the heat, mix briefly, and immediately place on the magnetic stand. Recover the liquid and estimate the final volume. After the elution step, the DNA is now ready to go on to the next stage, which is called quantitation.